What up everybody, it's Planter here, and today we've got a special game, it's actually a 1v1 uh, that was recently played uh, by myself, uh, and so that, that's special because I usually don't play 1v1s, uh, mainly because 1v1s, in my opinion, are not that great. Um, it's kind of like playing war game instead of uh, playing World in Conflict in the 1v1s, and I'm against Diomer, and I'd say we're pretty evenly matched. Um, you know, we, we're, we're, we have pretty different play styles, uh, but when it comes to 1v1s, I would say we, we were evenly matched. Uh, I'm definitely not a top, t top tier 1v1 player. Um, never had a lot of experience doing it, but uh, I don't think Diomer has as well. Uh, but we do pretty well for ourselves in the, uh, the current skill matchup. And... We were just killing time waiting for the server to fill up because um, we were just alone waiting and we figured we'd play some games. And the first game we played, I did a helicopter rush um, and and then switched to armor. And he complained that he didn't know that you could switch roles in 1v1s. And I decided, okay, I'll, in the next game, I'll, I'll also rush him with air. Um, so this is just your classic chopper rush. Um, probably considered bad manner to do um but this time i wasn't my plan was to not switch roles unless he like went to counter me and he's doing the standard you know th three heavy tanks start um and you know that's good because if you if your opponent goes armor and and i think i'm known as an armor player especially for 1v1s uh, you want to have as many heavies as possible uh, so you usually just start with three heavies and wail on each other uh, but obviously that's not going to work when you're playing against, you know, three heavy choppers. Uh, this is basically, you know, using paper and they throw rock uh, in, a, in terms of matchups. So th this is brutal. And this is exactly what I did in the first game. Although in the first game I waited for a scout and it allowed him to get a cap. Um, and he counters with the, the medium attack helicopter. That's, that's a, good, a good choice. Um, pretty much your only choice. Uh, but I'm just going to beat on him with the with the machine guns uh, to the best of my ability. And now this my second spawn is a little unique. Um, it's uh, it's two APCs. Uh, so I know I have air supremacy. He hasn't switched roles. Uh, so the APCs are here to, to do caps because you ultimately you have to cap something. And that's a micro air. I should have kept shooting at him. Uh, I lose a chopper. It's just a shame. Uh, but I need three units specifically uh, to cap this point, uh, which is my next my next goal. Uh, so I drop a jeep, which is also going to help repair, uh, and the APCs are just going to go and cap. And meanwhile, I'm chasing down this stupid medium attack helicopter. That's uh, super annoying. It's just going to keep popping missiles at me as soon as it is it as soon as it can. Yeah, there there it goes. But I get the. Uh, the super clutch super clutch triple pointer cap and beat on his APCs and kill his uh, his medium chopper so things are looking pretty good for me uh, this is this cap is su super important and, and when 1v1s are always about the snowball like if you make some caps then you get points and then you can do drops uh, and then you can make more caps get more points, do more drops, um, and then you start forwarding the points that you cap, uh, and then you get even more points, and then it also forces the other guy to spend TA to defort you instead of doing his own caps. So it's, it's like a, a heart, virtuous cycle uh, when you get rolling in 1v1s. And the heavy chopper is, you know, really hard to deal with. Like, you either have to buy out of roll medium choppers which is basically as expensive as the heavy choppers or you need to buy AA and then get countered by ground forces uh, but he's just going to keep on buying medium choppers and I'm just going to try to counter him with my own medium choppers eventually but I get the first drops off uh, mainly because I would gotten many more caps than him and that's good because I can do things like this like eliminate his drop Unfortunately, he picks off my, my jeep. 
you know, we both love killing each other's jeeps quite a lot. Um, but that's okay. I drop a tank. Uh, the other, one of the challenges with the air option is all your drops are really expensive. Like, if you were to take play against let's say an infantry player your draw your airborne infantry drops are a hundred percent more expensive than the infantry players airborne inf so you really can't uh and it's even still it's still cheaper i can't i don't know the percentage but it's still very a lot cheaper for um armor to drop uh paras and, and lights uh than air uh so this this strategy, staying air, is very uh, situational, I suppose, um, and you have to just generate a ton of TA in order to, to, you know, trade well in a drop war. And also, you're you're not going to have a lot of ground. You're basically going to have to rely on your dropped units, not your. Oh, so sad. Yeah, you have to rely on your dropped units, not your. Uh, actual units that you spawn in because you're going to be spending most of your reinforcement points on uh, on air units just for the sake of air supremacy and you know the last of my heavies goes down but he's got two mediums like that's a lot of points invested for him uh, and I'm just going to keep dropping uh, but Diomer does some excellent flanking maneuvers so he takes this, he takes this, and he takes this uh, from behind me and I think being an aggressive against an air opponent uh, is the where where you should to go uh like uh you have no other option you, you have to keep attacking um and force basically force them to get ground units uh, and that's a trade that you're going to win eventually like these medium choppers aren't going to do much i did see that he dropped a jeep down here so my natural you know i'm going to kill that jeep because fuck you diomer I know how much he hates losing jeeps. Uh, and I get the decap. Dropping light tanks. Uh, I figure because he's using APCs, uh, the light tanks are going to beat the APCs. And then once I get the forts... So I, I forted it up just once, just to hold on to things uh, here. Then I sent all my units into town because I need everybody in town to do the caps. Uh, you know, it's a combined effort. Uh... Just like a weird motley crew taking town, uh, but you know it's pretty beautiful. And we get the uh, we get another cap. And I think I think I'll just uh, you know for the uh, for the thumbnail get close up. And yes, yeah, so the tanks drop in. I I cap this. Um, and once you cap, sometimes you could take the time to ford up, but sometimes you just gotta keep attacking. Uh, and he's getting desperate. He's trying to decap town. It's not gonna end well for him because I'm just gonna keep recapping over and over again. You know, his drops are getting beat up by me. Shot at by choppers and killed. And look, he has to call in medium anti-air vehicles, uh, you know, out of desperation. And once, again, once these lights take the beach, they're going immediately for the kill of taking this. And watch the spectacular micro, just... Pfft. Yeah, medium anti-air devastating uh, against the air. Like, really, that's the, that's the counter to this. And we get the total, we're about to get the total dom. Uh, but we hold everything else on the, on the field. And yeah, it's not looking good for Diomer. Yeah, there's the total dom. And a pretty handy victory. So this is this is my second win doing kind of an air cheese strategy. And it works pretty well. And I think every player should be ready to just chop or rush in a 1v1 situation. Just to force players to consider it uh, when they start. Um, it kind of, like, if you keep this in your back pocket, it can uh, force people to make suboptimal... Uh, suboptimal starts. So hopefully this will make uh, 1v1s even more cancerous if people start doing shit like this. I'm sure, uh, sure the 1v1 veterans will love it. Um, and just a note, uh, I tried this strategy in the next game and lost against the armor because he, I think he basically figured out how to beat it. Uh, he, he called in tons and tons of medium anti-air uh, and that pretty much shut me down. Uh, but... Yeah, this is a, uh, you know, 1v1s, 
can be interesting. It's not just the same either inf versus inf meta or armor versus armor meta. You know, there is something you can do other stuff in it and play it, play it pretty well. So I think I'm going to keep practicing with the air choice to see if it's actually viable. I think it is. Um, and uh, and yeah, I'm sorry to Diamer for for posting this one. Uh, let it be known that he did beat me right after this. So yeah. Thanks everybody. Hope to see you uh, trying some cheese of your own uh, later.